Most of them in life are familiar with love and loyalty. Love is the feelings that we have for other people who are a part of our family of choice and possibly part of our family of origin. We can love people from our family of origin, but we can still hate them for their behavior choices and their lack of accountability in what they've done to impact our lives and others. In terms of love for our family of choice, we have to understand that we are responsible for our behaviors with every man, woman, and literally any other type of person that's out there. And I'm just saying that just to be politically correct. In life, we have to understand that those definitions are on a slippery sliding scope of a spectrum. And what I mean that a slippery sliding scope of a spectrum is that we absolutely know that there's hyper type A personality men who are sort of bruisers in a way, and some of them who are that big are also very gentle in a different way. We also have more effeminate people on the other end of the spectrum who are not the least bit gay, and that's what just happens. I have an uncle that is very old school and very what some people might call effeminate. I mean, no no offense to anyone in the family who might be eavesdropping and listening, but he is not gay, and he's happily married and has been forever um, with a woman who's slightly older than him. Not that that's important. My point is that the same spectrum exists, exists on the other side of the standard language that describes men and women. There are hyper-butch masculine women who are either heterosexual or homosexual or bisexual, and there then are extremely effeminate women who are either heterosexual, uh, lesbian, or bisexual. Uh, and somebody's just said trisexual, but I don't know what that means. In life, we have to talk about what we can and can't say on television to a point, but in a radio cast, in an audio cast, in a broadcast, in a podcast, we sometimes have a little bit more ability to walk the FCC morality line. The truth is that we have young people and old people and seasoned people like me who do sometimes bend and abuse the concepts of profanity. We have certainly marvelous comedians across America who are on television cursing and swearing and saying inappropriate things. And we are allowing them to do that because it's under creative licensing. 